Hey friends, I was hoping to get a little bit of footage of the, uh, is video footage, I don't know, uh, the um, butterfly agama lizard eating uh, flightless fruit flies, but she did not seem that interested. She vacated the sand in favor of one of her many tunnels in the uh, substrate and she does have a heat pad under there as well as well as a lightweight in other words not a hot just warm basking light really sleepy. Yeah, I'll let it run another minute or two and see if we can get anything that we're eating. We've got our water bowl out now, uh, washing it, and uh, she's got some uh, mealworms over in that container to put them in something a little deeper or they dig out and get in the sand burrow in the sand. Uh, she's also got a, in the far corner over there, I see at least one. You buy a roach, uh, which are basically roommates for her. I don't remember seeing her eat one. Come on, sleepy girl. I did have another female and it would not regulate um, its body moisture. These guys are a little tricky. Uh, they take very, very little water and uh, their diet's easy to replicate. Uh, she will take some chopped greens every now and then. She loves maple leaves fresh maple leaves, uh, but one of her favorite things is definitely the flightless uh, fruit flies, and uh, I always keep her a couple of colonies of those going. That's the one I just released some from, uh, and it's the newer one, and you can get these like at Petco and places like that, or you can get them from uh, people that keep such things online. This is her older culture, but they last for weeks. Plenty of, plenty of stuff in there. So those are definitely her favorites. And uh, also keep some things refrigerated, but other things close by like mealworms and there we go. And I'm about to give her a uh, plant. I'm taking the artificial stuff out and I'm gonna give her a little bit of a succulent or two here. Uh, pick these up also at Pet Cup. So very little watering. Uh, and in fact, this one's in dry sand. That's the way it came. So yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to do a remake of her basic habitat here. And I may be moving her out of this. Uh, she's right here by my desk in my bedroom, but I may move her out with the other reptiles, being a ball python and a big Indonesian blue tongue skink may put her in their area as well which is my dining room <laughs> it's a fish house reptile house and she's got one on her head now i think she's more interested in sleeping she's doing fine not allowed to spritz these guys gotta keep their sand dry for the most part Hopefully the plants will give her a little more humidity. They really don't do well with 
with humidity. They're, they're desert plants, but uh, desert type uh, habitat. get just a little closer over she's been burrowing under the, the rocks there and been down there warming up on her heat pad which is underneath the sand she's not interested in eating at all usually if I sit here she's a little more interactive with me I'll go ahead and get her some uh, fresh water back in which she rarely touches and doesn't take much and get her plants in there so thanks guys appreciate it she's so sleepy i wish she would move around a little more i mean she's fine hey there scared her scared her 